Oh no, this feels like 10 times worse. This one's a lot bigger than the other one as well. So I'm, I think I'm going to cry like a little girl shortly. <laughs> it's uh, my life philosophy expressed as a mathematical fraction in Japanese. So it's fun over shit. I can't show it to you because it's tucked under the arm that's being worked on at the moment. Uh, this is my... I think there's a tear in my eye, actually. Uh, this is, is there a tear? I've got a, I've got a tear in my eye. Shame, sorry. That's a real TV moment. She even zooms in. Uh, well, this one's a little bit more obvious. It's my daughter's name, Taylor Jean. And uh, as a, a more of a silhouette in the background is her birth date in Roman numerals. I cocked up, that's the bottom line, and we almost tattooed the wrong dates on my arm because I thought 2010 in Roman numerals is, well, I knew it was MMX, but I had written MVX on my artwork, and even though I triple-checked it, I just didn't spot it. But uh, Erwin, don't you want to pan across and just show Erwin there? Listen, Erwin. Hi. So how do you know Erwin, did you ask no. <laughs> Well, it was um, just uh, logic, uh, well, kind of logic. I just, we, we've done a few Roman numerals recently, and I just it wasn't looking right. Like MVX, it just didn't look right. So I checked on, we checked on Google and lo and behold, it was wrong. Well, it was a toss up. In fact, for the first seven months, she was going to be Emily Jean. Uh, Emily is such a popular name in the States and the UK, but uh, in South Africa, not that big. Uh, Jean was my late mum's name, so that was a given. And I've always loved hyphenated names hyphenated first names and then towards the end we also like Taylor so we thought we'd ah we thought we would just wait until she's born ah, and just have a look at her and go is it Taylor or Emily Jean and we looked at her and Emily for me is more blonde uh, and she was definitely Taylor Jean You know, people have been telling me for months that uh, I'm going to have sleepless nights, but until you actually have the sleepless nights, you don't know what it feels like. Uh, this morning I was up at 4 a.m., yesterday I was up at 2 a.m., and you're sitting there, and I mean, God bless, I love it a bit. I wish you would sleep a bit longer at, at night, though. Ah, oh, that is sore. And uh, I am getting used to changing diapers. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I'm getting used to picking up poo off my hands. I kept my eyes closed most of the time, so I didn't see the gory stuff. Uh, but it, it was absolutely amazing seeing uh, little Taylor Jean come out. It was the sunroof option we did, though, so she came out the, uh, the lower belly area as opposed to the undercarriage, which is a still in showroom condition, I might add. Thank heavens for that. And being a dad is priceless. I was actually very excited because uh, she came out, and the moment she stopped crying, uh, she smiled at me. And I was just over the moon until my wife said, no, she's really just farting. <laughs> uh, she's doing fabulous. Um, you know, she's recovering well uh, physically. And, uh, you know, having, having a baby, I think, uh, emotionally is overwhelming. And it, it's, it's an initial adjustment at home, knowing that every waking moment of the baby is all about the baby. You have no time for yourself. We've been, we've been trying to watch one episode of Grey's Anatomy for the last seven nights. And, uh, you know, we can't do it. Uh, but, I mean, we're both so in love with our little daughter. She's gorgeous and uh, she's changed our lives forever. Well, it has changed our relationship in that we haven't had much time together yet simply because we're getting so used to having the baby. Uh, but I definitely recommend it. If you're watching this right now, have sex have a child, but make sure it's in a loving relationship. <laughs>